You're watching Chewing the Cud. With Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. And I said it's not just the sunshine that shines out of it. Mm. Oh. Well, how, yes. how, how queer. Hello, Mike. Hi. What have you got in store for us today in your little buzz? So I've got some interesting stories about a new dessert. Mmm. On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, just look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have shared or liked one of our posts scroll on the bottom of the screen, we go to Lee and the Showbiz News. <laughs> Are you a fan of Trixie Mattel? Drag queen? Yes and no. Oh. I feel there's so, a story there. I think Trixie Mattel is very funny. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy Trixie Mattel's work. Mm -hmm. Bit of a thing for boy Trixie Mattel. Oh, a bit of a stirring. It's in the groinal region. In the yeah. groinal region. Yes, it's like a pro huh? Oh, oh. Well perhaps perhaps you would you would like to go and visit her new two point four million dollar motel. Trixie Motel. That's a lot for a night to start. I don't think you, I don't think you pay. I think that's the the cost of it altogether. Right. Okay. To build it. Oh, okay. I that's... think it's slightly less to stay there for the night. Oh, okay, that's good. So we we spoke about this last year, I think, where she has been filming um, a, a kind of a makeover show mm -hmm. called Trixie Motel, where she has bought this kind of rundown motel in the middle of I think it's Palm Springs in America. Okay. And it's kind of like changing rooms. So every week she's had a different celebrity in to create a look in a room. It's not out yet. Okay. It's imminently out. Ooh. But she's kind of revealed how much money it has cost because it's not just a TV thing. Mm. It's an actual an actual thing. life thing. Oh. It's not just for TV. So, yeah, so she's had launched her own makeup line. Mm -hmm. She does her own YouTube channels. With Katia. There's yeah, with Katia yeah. that we've we've got this is this is Trixie in the the reception area of her motel okay. with the plans on the table. So it's not just like she's just going in and doing it. She's actually really, she's really doing it. Yeah, that's how I garden. With a massive mallet and um, a pink play suit. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It is, it's, it's a seven unit establishment. Seven unit, yeah, um, and it's going to be shown on the Discovery Plus reality series. But Discovery we have Plus, just show you plush. <laughs> yeah, um, very soft version of Discovery. <laughs> show you fresh. <clears throat> I'm very ill, Mike. I don't like you pointing out that I've. Uh, anyway, um, her quote from her is that that she says, there's never ever been a motel like this, and there never will be a renovation show like this. It's going to leave people's jaws on the floor. The property is so beautiful and we have created something that really, truly feels like the heart, um, even though it's an artificial heart, it's like a pig's heart installed after your grandpa's heart attack. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah. Um, so it's a collaboration between Twixie and her... Twixie? Twixie? Twixie. Oh, I like Twixie. <laughs> Twixie. It's a collaboration between Trixie and her actual real-life partner. Uh-huh. Um... That's boy Trixie. That's boy Trixie. Are you feeling a stirring? Bit of a stirring. Bit of a stirring. Bit, bit of a stirring. Of a stirring. And it has cost between 2.4 and 1.9 million bajillion dollars. So between 1.9 and 2.4. Yeah, that's not what it's written there, though. And no, 500... Who wrote this information down? I don't know. Oh, it should be shot. Cut and paste is rubbish. Yeah. $500,000 to renovate it. Okay. So she's like, it's just, I mean, it was just like, it was just like waiting for a shadow. It was like the universe gives you stage direction and she had to do it. I think it's going to be quite pink. I think it might be quite pink. I think it's going to be quite homosexual. I think it might be quite niche. I think I may be visiting. I'm going to see Teresa Mattel in a couple of weeks. Are you really? In this very country. Oh. In Blackpool. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. that oh, okay. That's just a side of our social calendar. Oh, okay. So, were you? I think you probably were. Were you a Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan when it was on back in the day? Yes. Yeah. You were a big fan, weren't you? Big fan. Geek level. I, I, I might have also tripped over into watching Angel all the way through. Oh, see, I preferred Angel to Buffy. Controversially. Yeah, because mm. Angel was shite. Well, it's been, do you know realise it's been 25 years since the last episode aired? 25 no, years. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It can't be. 
It says here. I was a teenager. When it's it, when 25 it years since it, since it was last on our screens. But... No, that's a lie. Shut your whole mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. Grr, arg. It is. That's geek, if you, if you know. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. Yeah. coughs> there is an upcoming reboot. The reboot, like, because they reboot everything. Why? And they're going to reboot reboot Buffy. Is Joss Whedon going to be... Yeah, oh, a little bit no. troublesome. Um, but there are other producers on board. I don't know how much he's going to be on board. On screen now, we've got a picture of the cast. Go on, name them all. Go on. Buffy Geek. I, I couldn't possibly name Dawn, Buffy, Willow, Anya, or Anyanka, depending on... Anyanka, if she was the demon, yes. Exactly. Um, you then, and I was going to go Spike. Oh, OK. Spike. Um, then, oh, I, I hated her. She died, but that she was OK. She died, but it was fine. I was like, because she made Willow go crazy mad. And yeah, Evil which, Willow. Yeah. yeah. Which I preferred to Evil Willow. Yeah. yeah. Well, her name was Tara. Um, then you got Xander. And then he's the one at the top. And then that is Anthony Stewart Head, oh. which has the best name in the planet as an actor. Oh, um, wow. Giles. Sarah Michelle but, Gellar. Uh-huh. Buffy. I've spoken about it, Buffy. She's not going to be in it in any capacity. Okay. Basically, what she's, she's saying... She's not going to be involved at all. She's not going to be involved. At this precise moment, she's not. Okay. What she's saying... This is, that's Sarah Michelle Gellar as Buffy. Uh-huh. This is Sarah Michelle Gellar now. She has aged well. She has aged gracefully, hasn't she? Has she has aged well. Naturally. I, I, I wouldn't say naturally. I think there might have been a little bit of well, freshening. Well, if she has, it's, it's not... It's sympathetic. Yeah. It's she's, been a freshen rather than an overhaul. There's not a huge amount of info yet about how it's going to look mm -hmm. or whether or not the producer is going to kind of stay faithful to the kind of like original sort of backstory okay. um but this the, the producer has, has has tweeted and she said there is only one buffy one xander one willow one giles cordelia i liked cordelia hello um oz tara kendra faith spike angel they can't be replaced mm -hmm. Joss Whedon's brilliant and beautiful series can't be replicated, and I wouldn't try to anyway. But here we are, 20 years later, and the world seems a lot scarier, so maybe it could be time to meet a new Slayer. She has kind of said who she thinks should play Buffy. Okay. So she's kind of said, do you know what? Without shadow of a doubt, Zendaya, the okay. actress. So we've got a picture of Zendaya here with her boyfriend, um, Tom What's what's his second Holland. name? Tom Holland, the Spider Man. Yes. Mm. Does he make a giant tickle? You see, he's cute. He looks twelve. He does look. He's very young looking, but he's he's not, so it's legal. Um, yeah. He's very cute. He's very geeky. He's very silly, mm. which is very endearing. Doesn't make me go. Oh. No. I kind of want to give him a cuddle and put him to bed. Oh, breastfeed him a little bit. No, because I'm dried out. Burp him up. I'm dried out. Oh, okay, formula. Well, no, mm. just just give him a bit of a oh yeah, yeah. and then pop him to bed. Maybe I would read him a bedtime story about what I did to Wolverine. <laughs> I would doubt that Zendaya would would become Buffy because she's <laughs> more of a movie we'll star now. Yeah, just 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 ignored the weird fetish that you had of of babying Tom Holland. No, no, it's just it's like kind of like I'd, I'd cuddle him, yeah. put him to bed, but that's it. Not sexual. Yeah. Anyway, so let's move on. So very exciting news that that will happen. Okay. Can't wait to see it. Um, are you are you a Bridgerton fan? Yes. Very sexy show, isn't it? Very sexy. Well, it's not sexy. It's raunchy sometimes. Raunchy, nudie, doody. Like going, oh, I saw an ankle. Oh, yeah. Lots of bottoms. We've spoken about this before, how they have um, sensuality coordinators to make sure that the sex scenes look... Enjoyable. Authentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So season two is, is here, so you can stream it now. Um, apparently, there's not as much raunchy, non-chi. Have you, have you binged it? I've binged it. Have you binged it already? I've binged it. This is kind of like the cast of Bridgerton 2. Um, I haven't watched it yet. You're not? No. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, well, apparently, Jonathan Bailey, mm -hmm. who plays Viscount Anthony Bridgerton, who I think is family. He is family. He is yes. family. Yes, yeah. he's also been in Judge RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> he has, yes. Yeah. Um, this is him here, yes. yes. Look at him with his mutton chops. And his top off. And his top off. I think that's a wiglet that he's wearing. I don't think that's his natural natural bouffant. No, it is. Is it really his, his own hair? Yeah, yeah, it's not. Okay. Um, so he's he's been talking about the sex scenes mm -hmm. and how they've having to be come up with new ways of kind slipping of... Slipping it in. Well, yeah, but without slipping it in. So he's talking about this... Tr there's Sort of tricks of the trade. So apparently, 
A half inflated netball mm -hmm. placed between the nether regions of the actors uh -huh. with the actors humping it okay. looks remarkably like humping. Badge sex. Um, so yeah, if you, if you fancy a little bit of bit of sort of raunchy, saucy sexiness, Drama. yeah, watch Bridgerton. Thanks for that, Lee. Always interesting to find out that bumming a, a netball's a thing. Pleasure as always, Mike. But stay with us because right after this very break, we have Mike and the buzz. Watching Chewing the Cud with Ian Mike. Now let's go over to Mike and the Buzz. Have you ever had a UTI? A urine tract infection? Yes. No, I haven't. Have you not? No, surprising <laughs> the age. amount of time I've been on this earth. But <laughs> no, my, my tubes have always been flushable. <laughs> tubes have been flushable? Yes. Flushed through. Never had cystitis. Touch, touch wood. That's glass. That's but glass. Now you know. <laughs> anyway, um, well, imagine if you will, a lady went to the doctor going, I keep getting UTIs, right? And they finally x ray her. Just to find out the cause of the UTIs is the fact she had a shot glass shoved up inside her for so long that it it grown into its own gallstone. Oh, my God, that's disgusting. It's not pretty. It's got like an egg around it. Yeah, so that's her body's reacting to the glass and was basically putting calcium on top of it. That's like horrific. A, like a, a gallstone. That's horrific. Yeah, it actually made its way into her bladder. Did you realise that when you take a shot, you're supposed to drink it with your <laughs> mouth? So, um, so what actually happened was... She, she fallen. <laughs> 20 or so years ago, she'd used it as a sex toy and left it up her. And so what had happened was that the, the body was trying to react to it and just building up a, a coating around it, because it thought it was a foreign body, because it was, and which was triggering it to pee more. And she it, thought it might become a UTI. I thought your body was supposed to push stuff out that it what didn't think it's if supposed it can to push, be. It can push stuff out, but if it can't push it out, it will try and make it safe. Oh. So it's just building up and building up like a plaque around it. Did she, like, go, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Right, I did shove that up my foof 30 yes. years ago. Um, so, yes, an X-ray re revealed a rectangular form, that's what they called it, uh, lurking inside a bladder that resembled a glass and when it was um, encased by a large um, bladder stone. But yeah. Um, did you put it in the dishwasher, give it a rinse through and then put it back on the shelf? You have to chip the bladder stone off first. Oh. Because it basically fused in with the... the I don't tumble. like that story. You don't like that story? No. Why not? It's icky. It is icky. The dirty bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's happened is the doctors have said that, you know, the urethra is erogenous. So, you know, sounding. Oh, OK. I thought that would have meant sexy. Yeah, sexy place. It's, it's a sexy place. So we're talking, we've talked about sounding before. Oh, okay. Which is shoving a thingy under people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ladies can do the same sort of thing, but it's With a shot glass. internal. So they have to okay. put things on. So, no. I don't understand why there was a shot. What, what is the shot glass? What did that do? What, what was happening with that? Well, it's just something she could fit in and get down. She's got issues, hasn't she? Because yes. there's other things you think you would use before, <laughs> you know, in your whole kitchen, but you would come to your teeny tiny shot glass. Yeah, well, the doctors have revealed there's been a relatively high number of similar incidents of people have been sticking things in their urethras. And then the body's been turning them into calcium stones and then they're having to... Uh, yes. God, humanity is fucked, isn't it? Pretty much. <coughs> yeah, in a word. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got an ottoman inside me. You've got what? An ottoman. An ottoman? Mm -hmm. It's like that cave place. Sorry, well, the yeah, vagina cave. is like a cave no, no. place, you're right. Well, the ship's can... caves where you can hang things and then the water drips on them and it turns them to stones. Well, the Shipton's caves are saying in my ear, that's, yeah, only a vagina. Okay, so, so, <laughs> so you're going to, go, like, Cheddar Gorge and stuff and they've got the slide tights. Yeah. Yeah, that, that will happen with anything. Enough Ooh. time passes, minerals will case and... Ooh. 
Do you move on then? Mm. Okay, so we're going to a food related story. Oh. Now I know you love these. Mm. Depends what kind of ridiculous stuff you're going to pull out of your cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's something for you to eat. I think you'll enjoy this one. Because I've had maggot cheese before, which you enjoyed. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Windy Pop. <laughs> Just in advance. Maggot cheese. Of the, maggot yeah. cheese. Um, do you remember Capri Suns from your I youth? I do. In the plastic. Little foil pouch of the Pope. Yeah. You have to be careful, careful not to poke all the way through. Yeah. Well, they've expanded their range. You can now buy Capri Sun juice in a bottle. Okay. So self diluting. Mm -hmm. No puncturing required. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they have announced that in preparation for the warmer weather of summer. That day. Uh, yeah, that day. Capri Sun ice lollies. Oh, I think. Have they not been around for a while? No. What sun lollies? No, they're something lally different. Do, do, they're they're do, little squeezes. Sun lolly do do do. That was a theme tune. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Because very much like one little speckled frog. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can now buy Capri Sun Ice Lollies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only available you know, in Iceland. All I've got or anything right now is... <laughs> one little do do do. Sat on speckled log. Yeah. Eating some most, most delicious, delicious scrubs. Yum, yum. yum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, children. Yes, <laughs> yes. <coughs> so, um, brand new for 22. Mm -hmm. um, they have put the Capri Sun Freezies. Oh. Are available. Okay. Um, people are going crazy for them because they're Capri Sun flavoured ice lollies, and why would you not? Um, but when I was going, I was going to get some for the show. Mm -hmm. Right? Sold out. My God. Sold out. What is the world coming to? But they did have something just as lovely. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what? Lee might want to try these. Is it, have you just put some Domestos in a in a <laughs> tube and frozen it? Would I really make my own ice lollies? See, I wouldn't. I say I don't know why people get faffed. Make your own. Make your own <laughs> ice lollies. Do it yourself. Okay. So I have found these instead. What have we got? What have we got here? These are Biscoff okay. ice cream sticks. So I'm not going to say the word Magnum. You just have done. I'm not going to say the word Magnum, so it's fine, um, because that's a brand of other ice cream. Right. But these are Biscoff ice lollies. Didn't, okay, didn't is... you have? Didn't you make something out of Biscoff that was vile? Cheese. Yeah. Was it cheese? It was something that didn't taste anything like Biscoff. But these are in a packet. I've bought these. Okay. I've not had these labels printed or anything. No, I know you haven't because you're cheap. So what, what am I eating? It looks like a turd. It is a turd. Nutty turd on a stick. It's a nutty turd on a stick. Have a bite. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm That's it. I just wanted you to freak out the fact oh, that okay. you eat something that actually turned out to be lovely. I've eaten it out. Get golf ball through a hose pipe, you can't, you? Mmm. Right. Very nice. Yeah. Couldn't have more than one of those. Why not? Very sickly. All right, okay, it's not the fact that you and ice cream don't get on very well. Well, that as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. See, I, in a, on a sunny day, mm -hmm. I, I prefer ice, an ice lolly, to a okay. chocolatey lolly. Mm. I'll have both. Okay. Quite happily. Right. And if you want one or the other, you can always find us on social media. Just search for at the Could TV on social media sites. And that brings us quite nicely over to our story of the week. Now, we've had a, a, a lovely story about food. Mm hmm Okay. One that made you a bit uneasy. Hmm. Well, this one's about a new craze that's sweeping. Sweeping the world wide Sweeping web. the nation. Well, it's the world. It's the world. Okay. I do need to say in advance, do not try this at home. As we talk about teenagers that are doing something called butt chugging. Do you know what butt chugging is? I can only imagine. What do you imagine it to be? Is it pouring pouring an alcoholic beverage up your ass and then Close. drinking it out? Close, but no. Um, it is actually um, butt-chucking cough syrup. So pouring cough syrup up your backside in a form of douche. <sighs> what is wrong with people? Now, the reason why this is is because if you tr drink things orally, 
Mm. Yeah, you, your body naturally neutralizes a lot of the things you're taking in. Mm -hmm. so it, it takes it away from the bloodstream, so it less less alcohol hits your bloodstream. Okay. If you pop it directly up your backside or an alcohol enema, yeah, mm. um, it goes directly into your bloodstream. Right. Okay, because you, your body's designed to take everything out that it, it finds in there. Um. Yes, that's why my blood is 90% semen. Before you even make the joke, Lee, <laughs> I could see that for you. Well, we know what you all consist of. Um, but the reason why they, they, they're doing cough syrup is because cough syrup contains a, a, a drug called DXM, mm. or dexathromophorophorin. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... easy for you to say, he says. Um, which gets them high. Quickly. As in proper high. Oh, okay. So normally you have to drink a lot and lot of cough syrup, but because it's directly in your bloodstream, a bottle will do, sort of thing. It's a teaspoonful. No, oh, a full bottle. Oh, you pour a full bottle up your ass. Yeah, proper douche. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's making them feel really high, very silly, very, oh, very up, which is great. Apart from it then has damaging effects because you can get alcohol poisoning from the cough syrup because there's some alcohol in it. Not your, your insides. Ooh. Yeah, because you then have to wait for it all to get around your bloodstream to get into the kidneys to get the liver to get flushed out. Not recommended, is it? It's it's really bad and really dangerous for you, but it is a craze that's taking the, the nation by storm. By storm, I've by never storm. heard of it before. No, but that's because you live under a rock. It is. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So again, do not do this at home. It is very very dangerous. But that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you, Mike. I'm off to get some Tixie Licks from the shop later. Stick around. It's coming up. We have our game of the week. watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are going to be playing a game of Ooza Kazoo and this is one for Mike. He's going to shove something in his mouth and for once it's not the back of a nightclub at 3am. So off you pop Mike you old <laughs> hoover. Your word's not mine. Ooh. Game of the week. The rules are quite simple. All Mike is going to do is play a popular tune through a kazoo, and I've got to guess what it is. Are you ready, Mike? <laughs> so let's have the first tune. I think it's Call Me by Blondie. Oh! Is it right? It is. Okay, one point to me. <clears throat> Let's go for the second one. <laughs> Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler. It was. What was extra especially wonderful was the gallery singing along in my ear. Um, I say singing. Um. get any of that until well, the chorus. Yeah, it's because it takes a long time to get to the chorus. It's called a verse. I don't know the verses. You don't know the verses? No. Oh, okay. I'm doing quite well though today, aren't I? It is, yeah. It was Come On Eileen. No, no, Come On Eileen. Not Come On Eileen. Come On Eileen. Let's have the next one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Once I ran to you, now I run from you. <laughs> tainted love all over my face. That oh, tainted love by Soft Cell. It was indeed, yes. Wow. Yeah. Doing quite well today, aren't you? I am, yeah. It's almost like all these are from the very early 80s. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful people. Nope. Oh, I don't know this one. No. Don't you forget about me? Oh. I gave you a clue. I did not get that. <laughs> Would it, would it go dum 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 Is it Under Pressure by Queen? Oh no! Or David Bowie? I don't know which one it is. Queen or David Bowie? Queen. Under Pressure David by Bowie. Queen. David Bowie. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. That's the version I was doing anyway. Okay. I thought Queen did that. They did, I was doing the cover that David Bowie did. Come up with, uh, with mysterious faces. Jazz hamster. Is it? Maybe she looks like my father. Well, that would be fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what song is it, Lee? Is it? Is it Prince when doves cry? It is Prince when doves cry. <laughs> <laughs> Although, your lyrics were the best. Maybe she, yeah, I got that. Maybe spot. she looks like my father. <laughs> Maybe he's not satisfied. Yeah, he wasn't. <clears throat> I can only do so much. <laughs> Next one. See, right, because at first I thought you were singing, and now the end is near. <laughs> and then it perked up a bit, and I thought, no, it's not that. Okay. Um, is it All That She Wants Is Another Baby? Bye. By Ace of Base. It was indeed. <laughs> Nothing like Now the End Is Near. <laughs> no, it's not really, no. No. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Hands up. Du, 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 du. Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, bring it all back by S Club 7. It was indeed. <laughs> Just doing a lot of dance for the kids, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is 
it the is it the Pearl and Dean thing? No. The fifth cinema. <laughs> da, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Small things. <laughs> Don't get it, dear. All the small things, but yeah, by Blink One Eight Two. Oh, I wasn't into them. No, I can tell. No, it went. God, he's a god, he's a Beniza god by no. the shaman. No. No. <laughs> oh, pardon me! <laughs> very, <coughs> very unprofessional. <laughs> I don't know. I'm blue, a dab a dee, a oh. dee, a guy, I would be blue a Blue house with a blue little window and a blue That's what I said at the beginning. And everything is blue for him. That one. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Have you got one more? I've got several. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Kiss me by sixpence on the richer. Oh, uh, you see, not my, not my level of interest. That. All right, stay with us because after this break, we're going to learn something in that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we consider and try and understand what is happening in his warped little mind as Mike shows us that science that is. That science, that is. We're talking bodily fluids again, Lee. Are we? Because you like it when we do bodily fluids. Oh. Because we've done poo. We have done poo. We've done... done cum. We have, and a, and a friend messaged me and said, I can't believe you've actually done that on television. And ate it on a biscuit. We did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we made zip, we made sick. We have, yes. yes. So there's really not many body fluids left. Smegma? Huh? Smegma. It's not really a fluid. Okay. It's more of a paste. What about yours? Mine's yeah. pretty runny. Um. <coughs> anyway, today we're going to make snot and earwax. Oh, how delish. Because mm, they're very similar things. It's not an earwax. It's not an earwax. Oh, there's different types of snot, though, isn't there? There is. I'm going to talk about those. Don't you worry. Oh, oh, don't you no, worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Got plans. Got oh. plans. Okay. Hey, now you're talking. Yeah. Do you know what the main ingredient is in snot? Liquid. Liquid. But what, brain what? fluid. Brain fluid. <laughs> yes, Lee, brain fluid. Um, it's something called mucus. 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 Mm. Um, now, I have provided you with some mucus. Oh, how delight. I know. Um, so in one of your glasses, you should have a cloudy liquid liquid stuff. That's not cloudy liquid. Yes, I have a to cup of To pour that mink. into, your, into your, your, your container vessel thing with the spoon in. Okay. So you've got quite a runny mucus. I do. Yes. Mine's a little bit more globulous. Hmm. <coughs> Okay. That wallpaper paste. That wallpaper paste. Do you know what that tells me about my diet? Um, no. It actually tells me that I consume less water than you. Oh. Because if you're dehydrated, your, your snot becomes thicker. Does it? Yeah. 
So the the, the liquidy or snot, the more di my the more dihydrate. Ooh, that's easy for you to say. I don't the know. The more you're hydrated to you are. The more hydrated you are. Yes. Hey. Um. Also, if it's very runny, it means that you're having a lot of sinus reaction. Oh. So your body's producing a lot of mucus. But if there's blood in it. If there's blood in it, it means that you're either blowing your nose too hard and rupturing vessels, it streaks of blood, yes. or you're having a nosebleed. Oh, okay. I just thought I'd ask for a friend. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, there, there are there are illnesses that can, can cause you have to like bleed from the nose. Are there? Yeah, but it tends to be it tends to be just like your ruptured vessels. But anyway, um, now that your mucus is the majority of your snot. Okay. Okay, because it's it's there, but it's there to get rid of stuff. It's there to remove things from you. Oh. Okay. Now, we, we, we've produced a lot of snot during COVID, and we've had a lot of... Mucus has been trapping a lot of COVID, but it's been getting through. Oh. Okay. Now, you've you've had the sniffles recently. I, I, was, I nearly died, Mike. For 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you suffer from hay fever? Do you know I do? You do? Do you know I do? Now, wh if what the, the blooms are high, then you'll find me on my knees. But that's a different story. Um. <laughs> Very different story. Um, so I've given you some uh, artificial pollen granules. Have you? Yes, in one of your, in your glass. Who knew such a thing existed? Yes. Um, so if you pop those into your mucus, because what that's going to do is that's going to irritate your mucus and make um, it thicker. I don't need artificial pollen to irritate. No, you, you are already very quite irritating. by myself. To pour it in a mix? Just pour it in and mix it. Okay. And while that while those those pollen seeds irritate your mucus. Yes. Yes. We're going to talk about earwax. Are we? Yes. People don't talk about earwax, earwax nearly enough. They don't, no. They don't. They they tend to just scoop it out and throw it in the bin. Do they? Where, where do you put your... your I don't earwax? have any. You don't have earwax? No, I have very, very clean ears, yeah. Never have any of that orange stuff in. Blech. Right, so earwax is just another form of mucus. Is it? Yes. Um, yes. Not. It's just it's there to protect and, and lubricate. Lubricate your ear holes. Yes. So you do have earwax. But deep down... Deep down. No, it's all over your canals. Ear. You, you have earwax. Anyway, um, now the difference between earwax and like snot is the consistency. So I've actually got you some artificial earwax to play with. Okay. Is that that, that, that white stuff? Is that lard, Mike? No, it's earwax. But in real life, is it lard? No, it's earwax. I think that's lard. It's earwax. See, earwax doesn't look like that. Earwax no, this is... is this is before it's been contaminated. Oh, okay. So your earwax is naturally white. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, but what happens is, as dirt and things get into your ear canal, it, it stains it a different colour, like a brown colour. Yeah. So as it gets into your, as dirt gets into your ear, it it stains it brown. Ugh. Yeah. But it looks yellowy. It like does. Orange, because it, it's diluted with white. And do you know what you should never do? Stick it up your nose. No, stick. Clean your ears out with a Q-tip. Cotton bud. Cotton bud. That just pushes the earwax into okay. your brain. It actually says on the packets, do not use in ears. Yeah. Just use them for cleaning your slip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cotton wool buds, or, or Q-tips as Lee calls them, uh, tend mean? to be used for, for babies' noses when you want to like, get rid of a bit of snot around the baby's oh, nose. Oh, or makeup. Or makeup. Yeah. Yes, but not for ears. Not for ears. Or, to quote someone quite famous one day, not up your slit. Not up your slit. No. Don't put them up your So, yeah. So, the, your artificial earwax is the same stuff that you've got in your jug. Now, if you go back to your jug now, yeah. your pollen has probably aggravated your mucus and made it thicker. Um, not really. Is it not? No. Marginally. Marginally? Yeah. Mine's made mine substantially thicker. Oh, mine's kind of a little little bit thicker, but not much. Not much? Not much. I had to have my ear syringe when I was a child. Did you really? Yeah. And why did you have to have your ear syringe? Because I couldn't hear anything because I had too much wax in my ear. 
And what's your excuse now? Um, and do you know what? It was actually quite pleasurable, from what I recall. I, he poured some liquid in my ear. I asked a question. He didn't answer it because he can't hear me. And um, and then I had to hold my, and then I put my ear back, and it all went. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll share that. Okay. So, what's your excuse for being deaf as a post now, Lee? I'm not deaf as a post now. I'm just, I just have selective hearing. You just choose not to answer the questions yeah, I'm asking. I choose to answer what I want to answer. Okay. So, did you know you can actually get black snot? Ooh. And black snot is if you've got a fungal infection. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, green or yellow snot means that you've got um, a, a heavy infe or bacterial infection. Ooh. Yeah. What if, what if, no. What if what? No. What um, if what? No, it's not fine. Um, it's not made it massively thicker. It won't do, it's just, it's just to make it a bit gloopier. A bit glumpy. Yeah. <clears throat> do you ever eat your own snot, Mike? No. Nope. I mean, I'm going to go there because that is a question. You think, do you think that's a question we should ask the people whether they eat their own snot? Would you like to try your artificial snot? Like? I don't want to try my artificial snot. Why not try your artificial snot? she said it's not allowed, you're not allowed, it's poisonous. I didn't say that. You did? No, I didn't. Can I eat some of it? Eat some of your artificial snotly. What is in it first? It's all edible food. Oh, but what? Are you ready for this? This is groundbreaking television, this. Doesn't taste like my snot. What does your snot taste of? I don't really know. Yeah. Frab paste. That's what my Christmas. Your, your taste like what? Crab paste. Crab paste. Crab paste. <coughs> Crab paste. Yeah, I'm going to eat some of my snot. Oh. Uh. Taste sensation. Uh. Oh yeah. But yeah. So that's the wonderful thing about snot. Yeah, and earwax. And earwax, yeah. But mostly snot, because oh. I like snot more than I like earwax. But remember, that's science. That is. That's science, that is. That was very informative, Mike. It was. It actual was. science. Actual science and actual bodily fluids. Mm. Mm. And not once did you whinge or complain all the way through it. I didn't. You're really not well, are you? No, I found that quite interesting. No! I went really like, no! <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what the f*** happened there. Um, no! <laughs> no! Um, you know, I found that quite interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, unusual. Yeah. It's unusual, yeah. yeah so, you know, when, once you've got interest, I go with it. Oh, okay. Otherwise, yeah. Anyway, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Good. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Good night. Oh, man.